Hello again everybody, this is Scott Hudgens with Dodd RV, located in Yorktown, Virginia. Today we're looking at a brand new floor plan by Grand Design. It's the Imagine 3250BH. Three slide outs, large bunkhouse, island kitchen with the outside kitchen. Uh, great layout. Let's get started and take a look. Hey you guys, do me a favor, watch to the end of the video. I will be showing a quick video on what the camper looks like with the slide outs in. So you can see full access if you were pulling them over somewhere and you didn't have room to open the slides. So slide out in video at the end. Um, watch and find out. Thanks. All right, start on the outside. Imagine, see the power tongue jack. New label logo on the front, the 3250BH. Two 20 pound LP bottles with the cover accessible from the top. Spot for two batteries. The 3250 has a dry weight of 8,632 pounds. Nice pass through storage, nice and clean. Motion sensor lighting. Your convenience area, docking station, your outside shower, fresh tank hookup, your battery disconnect, cable hookups, and one tin receptacle. Feed everything right through the bottom so you can keep this door shut, which is very thick, well insulated, slam latch, magnetic clips that hold them up. You are prepped for solar, so a portable solar panel from Furion will trickle charge those batteries. All four corner stabilizer jacks. Your sewer hookup has got a convenience light located right beside it. Nice deep slide outs. Rear bunk slide. Spare tire mounted on the back. You have a factory installed roof ladder. We'll take a look at the roof real quick. All right, looking at the roof. See three roof vents, two ACs, your wine guard, TV antenna, and ventilation. Top your slide outs. Prepped for a backup camera by Furion. You are looking at a 50 amp service. We did equip this with two air conditioners. Outside access to your hot water heater. You do have an outside spray port. So outside shower on one side, spray port over here, which is close to the outside kitchen. It is high enough for you to stand underneath it. I'm 6'5", so we're good there on height. Two burner range, tees right off your propane up front. They added the little latches inside so it keeps that connected. Nice storage. Electric refrigerator. Tons of overhead storage. Receptacles, light switches throughout. New decor and the lighter cabinetry, solid surface countertops, full length power awning. See the Imagine, the step above entry step. Folds right up, locks into place. No exposed frame. You do have the regular aluminum steps on the front, which goes into the bedroom. So be access to the bathroom if you're traveling. Then you have your large wide open pass through storage. Motion sensor lighting. All right, nice thick compartment door. Still held up with the magnet. Slam latch. Coming back around the latch holding the step above steps. Drops down with the adjustable legs. Magnetic latch that holds the door, but also friction hinge. 
Wherever you leave that door is where it stays. Screen door. And go in and take a look. Oh, well, real quick, everybody, before we go inside, if you have not yet already, give me the thumbs up, subscribe. Also, hit the notifications. Hit that bell because I'm putting campers on all the time. That will give you the heads up that they're on and you can be the first to see. Thanks again for watching. All right, so entering into the 3250, you see the new Pebble Decor theater seating with the freestanding booth dinette. New lighter decor inside. New accents on the fascia and hardware on the cabinetry. Island kitchen. See the opposing slide outs. Nice barn style door. Hiding that large pantry. Tons of storage. Nice sitting area right across from the TV. Bunk slide out, and that's where we'll start. You got bunks on either side. All four bunks are 74 inches. Three of them being 36 inches wide. Where this bottom smaller bunk here is 28 inches wide. Good storage drawers below. You do have windows that open for cross breeze and blackout shades. And they are roller shades. They've got their own skylight with the vent. Plenty of light. USB plugs, 110 receptacle, and lights throughout. Again, that top bunk folds right up out of the way. Hook up for a TV. You can mount that right to the wall. And they have multiple air vents and heat ducts. More storage, very deep drawers. Going back into the living room, you see the booth dinette. We'll take a look at the setup and breakdown of that. All right, real quick setup and breakdown of the booth dinette. This is the freestanding table. There is a lever on the bottom. Slide those cushions out of the way. There's your booth dinette. And you got plenty of storage down low on either side. Theater seating with cup holders. They do have heat, massage, LED lights. Thomas Payne, they do recline. Again, you saw the roller shades in the bunk area. You still get those in the living area as well. You're sitting right across from the fireplace. 40 inch TV, which is on a swivel arm. Making it a little bit easier to get to those plugs and cords. Storage up top. Stereo, AM, FM, CD, DVD player. You got multiple zones with the speakers. More storage above that fireplace, which does put out electric heat. So nice source of heat there. When you come in, you've got the panel down below, which is hidden with this door. Your fuse panel, circuit breakers. Nice spot to take a seat, put your shoes on or off. Hang up your jackets more storage convenience area you can control your slide outs your power awning your water heater your lighting inside and out and then you can tell the holding tank levels all from one spot motion sensor lighting when you come in the door this island receptacles large stainless steel sink 
We got the new roller cover. So that's usable space extension for the faucet. Large gas electric refrigerator, freezer. Tons of countertop space. Again, usable space for this range cover. And that acts as a splash guard. You also have the exhaust hood. Blows outside and your microwave with deep storage beside it. LED lights on the front of the oven. Your large pots and pan drawer. Stuff's flying around going down the road. Move these pegs once you get everything in there. Keep everything in one spot. So a nice little setup on the drawer. Nice spot in the island for a trash can. Deep, large drawers throughout. Down this side hallway, you do have a door closing off the bedroom, door to get into the bathroom. In the bathroom, you got towel bars, mirrors, vanity, plenty of room around the porcelain toilet, solid door that closes off, separating the bedroom from the bathroom, storage under the sink, nice radius shower, Glass enclosure with that overhead skylight. 60 by 80 queen walk around bed. You got plenty of room on both sides. We looked earlier from uh, your door access to the bedroom. You got a spot for another TV. Your second air conditioner is ducted. Storage with shocks that hold that bed up for you. You got night lights or reading lights above your head. Storage and your wardrobe area. Again, with drawers. So, great setup. New floor plan. 3250 BH. Imagine. Alright, everybody. Just as promised. What does it look like with the slides in? So one thing I will tell you with the living room slides in, you do not have access to the bunk room. With the kitchen slide out in, it comes right up to the islands. You do not have access to the refrigerator. While that one's going in, you can't see that no access down the hallway. So you're using the master bedroom entrance to get into the bathroom. And then in here, again, there's no access. Uh, basically getting in, you can sit down, you can get to the chairs. If you really wanted to, you could... One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, let's say eight seconds. And I can fit through here. You can now get into the refrigerator, freezer. Um, that's probably the best bet. From the outside, it doesn't even go past the assist handle. So about eight seconds, you can put it out, get into that refrigerator, and then quickly close it back up, no problem. So slides in, 3250 bunkhouse. Guys, I just wanted to take a minute to thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If I didn't answer all your questions, please post them down below in the comments. If there's a camper you're looking for, let me know. I'll do my best to put it on as quickly as possible. Thanks again for watching. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do so. Give me the thumbs up. Scott Hudgens, RV.